Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Crazy Bank. I do apologise for the noise in the background, it's the washing machine. And the tumble dryer is on as well. Um, today we're going to be doing quick and easy tomato soup. Um, I was going to use my tripod but I can't actually find the little bit that clips onto the camera and then onto the tripod. So Today you're going to be propped up on this little bit here, this makeshift thing that I've done. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wash my hands and we're going to crack on with today's video. It's nice and quick. It should only be roughly about 25 minutes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, is put in two, ta two tablespoons of olive oil. And then with that I'm going to add one chopped onion. You're just going to, um, just you just want to soften them. You just want to make them nice and soft. Yes, it is fitting because I've already had the gas on with the saucepan on there. You shouldn't really do that just in case your saucepan burns. I only done it because I actually knew how quick I was going to be. I'm just giving them a stir around slightly just to soften up. And once they are all nice and soft, then you're going to go ahead and put in some butter or margarine, whatever you prefer. That's what I'm going to do, butter, sorry for the lens. You're getting a bit steamed up here, do you apologise? Oh, it's just making it worse, the heat. Okay, so I've actually found the bit that I'm going to actually just attach on to the bottom of my camera. So I can actually, I've just taken the onions off the heat for a minute, just so I can just attach this and get you guys set up. Okay, now you guys are set up on the tripod. The idea is try and not burn them, you don't want them caramelised, you want them just soften. So that is beautiful. So you can see they're just, just nice and soft in there. Also, you can also turn your heat down slightly as well. Now what I'm going to do is really turn the heat down is I'm also going to add a garlic a garlic clove I've got a garlic press just going to plop it in there like so garlic's in there I'm just going to press all the garlic out there you go If cameras had smell vision, oh, this is beautiful. That's the garlic in there. Also, I'm going to take it off the heat for a minute. <coughs> now you want some flour. This is one and a half tablespoons of flour just gonna slightly add that in a minute <coughs> so 
Right, so as you go, here's the onions on there. What I'm going to do is add my pl plain flour just to thicken it up. Um, one and a half tablespoons. Now yeah, what I'm also going to do is, is I'm going to add chicken stock, 750 mils, and I've also got in here um, one and a half stock cubes. I'm also going to add in now tomatoes. What we've got the camera lens. In here is two tins, 400 grams each, of peeled tomatoes. Straight in there like that. Obviously, if it doesn't get to the thickness of you like what you like, you can just keep adding little bits of flour at a time and just stirring it to thicken it up. Now, what we've got to do is, is turn your heat back up and bring it to the boil, and then we have to you've got to simmer it for about 15 minutes, and then season it with obviously if you want to put sugar in there, salt and pepper. Let's bring that to the boil. Obviously it does look thick and runny but we have to put it through a proof, uh, a food processor. Because it's going to take a while why um, it's been low, the heat's been on low, so it's going to wait, take a bit of time for it to boil back up. So if you can see it's just starting to bubble away up in the corners, um, so once it really does start bubbling then we're just going to whack down the heat ever so slightly and start simmering it for about 15 minutes. Okay, there we go, I'm gonna just turn it down now, put the lid on and just simmer it away for 15 minutes. Right, there you go, I just added my sugar. Now it's just add a bit of salt to, just to taste. Just to just to season it slightly. Um, oops, sorry about that. And then give it a stir. And just get a, just get a spoon. And just the taste is quite nice actually. Be careful, oh, you can't take it off. Oh, I want to see 
Yeah, you wanna see? No, it's in the A. I can see that. Oh, there, right over there. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Hey, your video on. Now, after it's been video simmering for 15 video. minutes, we have, we have to um, pure it into a. You have to pure it into a blender and then return to the hub. Now the house has come alive. Now I'm going to pour it straight into this food processor. Try not getting none that splashes back. I don't think it's all going to fit. Okay, we might have to do this in two sections. Not quite big enough. I'm gonna go, ooh, yeah. Ready? <laughs> so just added the last bit in there. Ready? Have a look. That yeah, beautiful. It smells so nice. And then we need to put that mm. back in the saucepan over here. Try not to spit it like I just did. I know. And now, foo foo, when it's cooled down, you can have some. And then just. turn it back to the pot. Um. If you don't like it that runny, then you can always just add some more flour or corn flour just to make it a bit more thicker. Now, which I might do. Let's give it a stir. I'm just going to add some corn flour just to thicken it up slightly. I don't want to serve it into there anyway. 
So after that we've added a taste tablespoon of corn flour into it. It's best to add it like um like we did probably at a teaspoon at a time to yeah. get your get your desired thickness to whatever you want it. You might just like it as it is. Sorry Simon, I don't want to take over your cooking. Okay. Mum's here now. <laughs> Obviously because you need two people to stir it and as well um, as no. pour it in. Well you do, otherwise you get and that with lumps in it. With well yeah, flour. you just need to spin it in with one hand. And, and then we're also going to have some basil in there. Tomato and basil soup. My sister likes basil, so she's got plenty of soup to eat tomorrow. Yeah, once it's done, that is. Dish it up. It's getting cool. I'm coming. It's got a few bits. Cornflour, and I still see them. We'll go. And obviously, you don't want to serve them. Is that it? Yep. Look at that. Beautiful. I'd also say leave it a couple of minutes to cool down um, before you go and eat it because <laughs> I made. That don't do uh, it. If we can get you off the tripod. My camera woman. Can you come back? Zoom it out, I want it zoomed in on my face. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, when I was actually testing it to see what make sure the quantity were right over the sugar and the salt and the pepper, I actually burnt my tongue. Um, so I'm not gonna eat that just yet and burn my gob off. Um, that's actually just to, uh, I'll pour some into a bowl and then just let it cool down before you actually go ahead and eat it because this is going to be piping hot. Nice little bit in there. Um, these are just other ones that we was going to use and we never did use. Yep, you can put any herbs that you like into yeah, it. Herbs. These herbs here I might just sprinkle some over the top rather than go just leaving in there. Is thyme, parsley and oregano in there. You could also serve that with bread if you wanted it. You could serve it with bread or a bit of bread and butter. Um, yeah, well, I did French, have some nice French, French bread, bread, but it's all got yeah. eaten. We ate it for lunch. <laughs> um, yeah, just butter your bread, fold it, or if you like, I do like eating soup, just plain bread. Um, yeah, just dip it in and eat away. Obviously, I'm not yet. Yeah, I'll try it. Timer. Mm. That is actually really nice. You should come in and try this. Wow, that is really nice. Ooh, it's try it. Everyone's a bit scared. Camera shy. Let's try it. I'll go down to the bulb then for you. Going in for a second. That is really nice. Um, and you've got your hand. 
Definitely give it a go yourself. You don't eat soup, so. <laughs> well, that is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful, that is. Mm. Um, give it a go. Send us your pictures if you do cook it. Also, if there's anything you want us to cook, then let us know down below or through Facebook. Um, send your pictures in like that, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, but if you did enjoy that video, give it a big thumbs up. Also, please click subscribe if you haven't already. And um, we'll catch you guys next time.